do it all for Making deals on the low, big house in the boat Got you working three jobs, never broke Only grind that we know is just grinding for more Why them niggas in the kitchen with the work Two strikes on the shirt, trying to get it from the dirt Why you see me going hard on the verse Ain't no telling what I'm worth, hundred commas in the world Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Welcome to CN Tech, man. Top of the morning, man. Let's try to make this a good one. It's Tuesday. Let's get into it. Real quick, I want to talk to y'all about food addiction and developing a better relationship with food, which is very, very tough. Very tough. A lot of people you know don't touch on it enough you know what I mean like it's not talked about enough not a lot of people don't touch on it enough it's not talked about enough uh, they do have shows like 600 pound life and in uh, and, and a couple other shows that you could watch that that is very educational a lot of people probably watch it they laugh they probably watch it to make themselves feel better about themselves, but it's, it's, it's really no joke because it's a lot of people. Half of fucking America probably struggle with food addiction. They probably just don't address it. They don't address it at all. And, and I know y'all notice that you see a lot of obese people and overweight people everywhere you go, everywhere you go. And that's because a lot of people have poor relationships with food. A lot of people are uneducated about dieting and, and food intake and, and what they should do. A lot of people just don't care. A lot of people don't care. They, they have their addiction. They think it's harmless, so they give in to it and don't think nothing of it. But really, they are doing lots of harm to themselves. They are dying very slow. They are dying slow because of their poor relationship with food. And it's definitely something that needs to be talked about more. More awareness needs to be brought to it. And, and more solutions. More solutions. Because it's too easy these days to eat bad. To eat bad is cheaper. You know? Now they have, I mean, they've been had delivery service for fast food, but now it's just as easy with, uh, with Uber Eats and, and, and all of the, the DoorDash and all those other, other avenues where you could just get food delivered right to you, just like that, from a push of a butt. And it isn't, it's, 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 it's an addiction. It is a terrible addiction that's out there, and it's not addressed enough. So... The thing is, and I and I speak because I've I I know I have a food addiction. I know I have a food addiction, uh, and I know it's an everyday struggle. If it's an everyday struggle for me, I know it's an everyday struggle for a lot of other people. For you too, if you even watching this, if you watching this, the older you get, the slower your metabolism get, and you know, and, and your body will respond either by weight gain high blood pressure, diabetes, all of those things, all of those things, heart attack, stroke, you name it. A lot of it stems from food. And you gotta understand that and get an understanding of the things that you are intaking, the things that you are eating affects you. It's not, it's not just going to Burger King, it's not just going to McDonald's, it's not just going to Wendy's, it's not just going to Checkers, it's not just eating chicken and, and thinking that it's nothing, you know, you just eating food and it's just digested and that's that, no, that's not the case, a lot of people, it's not, that. a lot of people aren't giving their bodies a chance to digest those meats that they stuffing in their mouth, you got to understand, it's people eating meat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And in between those times, doing a lot of snacking. A lot of people not exercising either. A lot of people not drinking enough water. All those things will affect you. And my advice to everyone is to get on top of it now before it's too late. Before it's too late. 
You see a lot of people in the gym working out that's very, very overweight. Very overweight. And I'm not knocking them. I'm not knocking them at all. I'm not knocking them at all. But it's very tough to try to just shake that weight off at the gym and sweat that out. That's just like one of, it's just, it's, it's almost, I'm not gonna say pointless because they doing something, they doing something, but to get to that point, it's unfortunate. To get to that point, it's unfortunate and it's very hard to, to just wake up one day and say, hey, I wanna lose weight and then go to the gym. And meanwhile, like you got this just shell, this heavy, this heavy weight that's just weighing you down. You know? And you trying to and you trying to get that off. And a lot of people's turned into surgery, you know, you got the, the, the gastric sleeve and all of those other things. Uh you know that uh people are resulting to. But listen, if you can, if you can, my message for today is if you can, try to develop a better relationship with food. Try to slow down on the fast food. Try to get more veggies in your diet. Try to drink more water, like I said the other day, and try to avoid those health issues right now. Try to avoid those health issues right now and, and try to fight off that weight gain. A lot of us have weight on us already. A lot of us have weight on us already, but there's still a chance. There's always a chance to just turn it around and develop a better diet so you can so you can live healthier so you can live healthier you know it's not easy like i said by far it is not easy because we are brought up eating how we want to eat your body gets used to eating those things your body gets addicted to eating those meats those you know what i mean your body has a craving for it and you gotta understand, just because your body crave it doesn't mean that you need it. Your body crave it because your body is used to you eating those things. Your body is used to that intake. It's just like drugs. I don't understand how people don't look at it that way. Food is an addiction, just like drugs. Your body wants it. Your body needs it. You, your body's telling you that it needs those things just because you've been used to doing it. Your body become immune to it. Just like your body become immune if you've been doing drugs over time. Your body needs it. And over a certain period of time, right, of doing drugs, your, your, body, your body needs it. But it's not at a point to where it's fun anymore. If you watch 600 Pound Life and you're seeing those people eating the way they eat, it's not fun. Watch it. Y'all need to tune in to that show and watch what they're going through and, and listen to how they explain their relationship with food, how they just can't stop eating. And I'm talking gluttonous. Gluttony is one of the seven deadliest sins. Understand that. Gluttony is one of the seven deadliest sins people are suffering because of their food addiction people are suffering you got to understand that because they can't stop this addiction that they have this poor relationship that they have with food their body their body is fiending for something that they think that they need but they actually don't it's their mind also playing tricks on them too so all I ask is that you try to develop a better relationship with food. Your life depends on it. Your life depends on it. It's too many young people, especially in the black community, that's having strokes at an early age. People die. Listen, my age, in their 30s, having heart attacks, overweight, clogged arteries, Diabetes, high blood pressure, and not going to the doctor, and we still just intaking all of these foods, still not eating vegetables, still not, still not portioning their meals, they still overeating, still overeating. You have to get that under control. 
You have to get it under control, trust me. I know how hard it is. It is an everyday battle. I fight it every day. Every day. Now my body's used to it. Now my body's used to it. I had it took some time, but now my body's used to it. But still, it's still a struggle. It's still an everyday battle. You think I just don't want to say fuck it? Fuck it. Go to Wendy's or go to Burger King and get me a fat ass burger. No, you know what I did do though? I tricked my mind. So therefore, I eat good all through the week and then I do allow myself a day to eat what I want. And that's usually on the weekends. That's usually on the weekends. But you have to start slow. Start slow, but start somewhere. Like I always say, start somewhere. Start to develop a better relationship with Food. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be a fight like everything else in life. But you have to do it. You have to fight for your life. Food is taking life. It's killing people slowly. And people don't understand that. It's killing people slowly. It's a slow death. It's a slow death. Like I said, you don't know what's going on in your insides. You don't want to go to the doctor. You're not getting no labs taken out. You're not doing any of that. You're not getting your blood drawn or none of that. How else is you supposed to know what's going on in your inside? Your blood is the key. They take your blood and then they see all those levels. Dangerous levels, low levels, all of that stuff. They take your weight. You know what I'm saying? You weigh yourself. They, you, you weigh. You got you to gotta step on the scale. That's the first thing you do when you get in the doctor's office. They know. Your weight, your weight says it all, but your blood that also that's just a deeper that's a deeper analytic that they go into. Because if those levels is off, you need to get those levels on point. They're going to tell you if you if you if you got if you uh, got a chance of having heart disease, if you if you got high blood pressure, if your blood sugar fucked up, go to the doctor. And right now, start today. Developing a better relationship with food. All right. I'm Jay Sin. That's my word for today, man. Develop a better relationship with food. Start today. It is that serious. People are dropping like flies. All right. I'm Jay Sin. The Sin Take. Y'all have a good day, man. First, I'ma get on my grind. Then, second, stop wasting my time. On shit less important. If ain't about money, I'm going the other direction. And third, I'ma do what I gotta to eat. Fourth, I'ma sew up the streets. Fifth, I'ma never quit dropping this heat. So as long as I'm breathing, you better get used to me. Sixth, I'ma get up.